Hello all and welcome to the next video here on the Onion Man's Rooftop Two-Headed Cow Caravan of Treasure and sometimes Barter. Hell yeah, we're still got the streak. Uh, this is the next episode of Gimmick Table where we take a look at our pro wrestling crate each month. Uh, this is my favorite thing to unbox every month, so happy it came in. It came in yesterday, I'm unboxing it today, and it's going to be uploaded the same day, so yeah. This one's going to be out pretty quick. Um, I love the pro wrestling crates, so... Yeah, we've got our standard box, and let's jump right into it. Okay. Well, right out the grate, we got, or right out the grate, right out the crate. Uh, spoiler alert, this other side contains contents of this crate, so we'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, next month will feature Owen Hart, FTR, Adam Cole, King Harley Race, The Godfather, British Bulldog, and Land Charger. It's an interesting lineup. Specifically, if you notice, it says King Harley Race, not just Harley Race. So they're going to his WWF run, King Harley Race. So that'll be interesting. Uh, our shirt, first shirt. Let's see what we got. Uh... It's clobber in time. CM Punk. It's like a broken clock. Cool shirt design. I like that. That's about all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> well, probably won't be keeping this one. I prefer a lot of the older ones. Uh, like the vintage shirts. So, there's nothing there. Just, I don't know. Uh, put that off to the side over here. Uh, we got another shirt. Looks like this one is... What do we got? Oh, okay. The Runaway, Ruby Soho. Kind of cool. Um, kind of interesting on the color scheme. It's like a burnt orange. With Ruby Soho, you figure it'd kind of be like a red and green and some other stuff. Uh, interesting shirt. Don't know if I'll keep that one either, but uh, kind of a cool design. Really weird. It's not often we get two shirts that are not really interesting uh -huh. so that's disappointing uh oh this is cool awesome kong micro brawler the micro brawler is always like my favorite thing in every crate that and whatever the eight depending on who the eight by ten is um this one's cool i like awesome kong awesome kong very underrated in that whole uh like tna knockouts realm you know like a lot of people always give so much credit to gail kim and i think rightfully so Awesome Kong was there every step of the way, too. Like, let's not forget that. Like, you couldn't have one without the other. Uh, what is this, a patch? We got a patch. I don't know of who. I think it's Evil Uno. Okay, we got an Evil Uno patch. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. We'll find out when we look at the card in a minute. We got the comic book. I have not read a single one of these. I do keep them, uh, but they, they look pretty trash, so I've never really read any of them. The artwork sometimes is decent. Like, this actually looks kind of cool, uh, but I just, I've never actually read one. So this one's Sean Waltman. Okay, cool. Story by Sean Waltman and Michael Kingston. All right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Anything? Oh, we got a pin. Oh my God. It's a D'Lo Brown pin with the moving head. <laughs> I don't know why that's amazing. I don't collect pins. I don't normally keep the pins. I kept the uh, Eddie Chase, um, Eddie, Eddie, well, it was a Chase. The Eddie Kingston Chase pin, because it's the first time I've gotten a Chase variant for anything. Um, and it's D'Lo. D'Lo Brown is my favorite, like, mid-carder of the Attitude Era. Absolutely, by far. Um, and this one's pin moves like the head. Oh, my God. We might have to, we might have to start keeping some of these pins. Oh, man. They're starting to make good pins. That's the thing. Uh, we got a Micro Brawler sticker of Sean Waltman, but as X-Pac. 
So we got the book and the sticker. Interesting. And lastly, we have our 8x10. Let's take a look. See who we got. Huh. Really? Is that, did we get Scotty Too Hotty? 8x10? Is that who that is? I think that's Scotty Too Hotty. That's weirdly amazing. I don't know why. <laughs> I have a friend who loves Scotty Too Hotty. Like, I love D'Lo Brown. He loves Scotty Too Hotty. That's like, he's going to get a kick out of that. Holy shit. Um, okay. So let's take a look at the contents here. Clobbering Time t-shirt, Ruby Soho shirt, Awesome Kong Micro Brawler, Sean Waltman aka X-Pac Headlock comic book, and the sticker over here on this side, Evil Uno patch, uh, movable D'Lo Brown pin, and the Scotty 2 Hottie autograph. So yeah. Um, interesting crate. Uh, there's some fun stuff in this one. I love the um, Awesome Kong Micro Brawler, obviously. I think the D'Lo Brown pin is actually really neat. I don't collect pins, but God, it's really cool. Um, Scotty Too Hotty 8x10, I mean, it's not the greatest wrestler in the world, but hey. Um, the only two things I think I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in are the shirts. Um, I know there's a lot of people who would really love the CM Punk shirt, especially. Uh, so I'll probably get rid of that one, sell it, see if I can get something out of it. I really like Ruby Soho. I just don't know if that shirt design is my favorite thing. I get the idea though. The Runaway. Have you ever seen The Runaways? Um, anyway. And then there's the CM Punk one. So I don't know. Well, we'll see. I think, um, man. It's not often I ever say this, but I think my favorite thing in this one was the pin. And I can't tell if that's disappointing or a good thing. <laughs> like, uh, and we got the Evil Uno patch in the book that I won't ever read. But um, yeah, that's it. Pretty short, simple, sweet, to the point. Um, yeah, in next month sounds really interesting though, so that ought to be a little bit more fun. Uh... Yeah, Owen Hart, always interesting to see what they do there. I'm a huge FTR fan, so that'll be great. I love Adam Cole, that's great. King Harley Race, that's the one that's, like, the most interesting to me. Like, it's King Harley Race, so it makes me think, like, that could be, like, the Micro Brawler or something. Unless they've done them already, I don't know. Um, Godfather, okay, and British Bulldog, cool. Lance Archer, cool, okay. So that sounds like a really interesting lineup. Um, we'll see. But that's going to be it for this one. Uh, yeah, probably... For a lot of people, the CM Punk shirt would be a big deal. For me, it's not really. Uh, I love the pin and the micro brawler. Scotty Too Hotty's autograph is kind of fun. Um, maybe one of the weaker crates, probably. For me, personally. But um, either way, I love these crates. I love unboxing them and seeing what you get. And that's going to be it for this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to. You do not have to if you do not want to. But I appreciate anybody who does, so thank you, and I will catch you guys in the next video.